Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I hope you guys had a great holiday, a great Christmas and a great um, new year so far. So I filmed my first Valentine's Day look for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to have time to film another one, but luckily I had time after work today. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to film a makeup for Valentine's Day before I run out of time or I don't have any time to film. I definitely like how it turned out and as you guys will see or have seen, I have two lip choices but I, I like both of them but I prefer the, the nude lip gloss because I feel like it just makes you look more approachable. Um, the, with the pink lipstick you just look like all oh, bubble gummy and I don't know. I, I like both of them, but for Valentine's Day, I would prefer to wear this because it just makes you look more approachable, more girl next door. You're not trying to like show your boyfriend like you could coordinate your lips and your eyes, your boyfriend, your husband, whatever it is, um, or he or she is. Um, so yeah, I just want to, I, I mean, you can wear whatever lip color you choose, but I feel like the nude lip gloss would go best with this look. And I hope you guys enjoy this, and thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So first I'm going to prime my eyelids with the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Skin Tone, and then I'm going to set it with these two shades from the Morphe 35 Old Palette. And to make sure I don't have like any white cast, I'm going to use this shade that's really close to my skin tone to blend in everything together. And then I'm going to take this burnt orange shade to use as a transition shade. And I'm using the Morphe 505 brush to blend that in together. And then I'm going to use this like a yellowish matte eyeshadow to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to blend that in all together. And then I'm going to use this NYX matte, eye, matte black eyeshadow with a makeup cake. V, I think it's like a V, V end brush um, to define my crease. I'm gonna use this brown eyeshadow just to blend everything in together. Then I'm gonna take this, it's like a light orange color just to make sure I don't have like any harsh lines and to blend the brown and the black together. And then I'm gonna spritz, spritz my shader brush with some Smashbox Photo Primer Water, and I'm gonna use this Morphe 35S eyeshadow palette. It's, if not, it's the U, but I'm gonna leave that in the description box. And I'm gonna use that as my eyelid color, and I do get a lot of fallouts with this eyeshadow, so you wanna make sure you place it carefully as you see me doing. I also switch the brush with the Smashbox Water just to make sure the eyeshadow comes out or it looks more pigmented and to get more color stay out. And then I'm gonna go in with that Morphe 35S palette. I'm gonna use that. It's like a shimmery off black eyeshadow and I'm just I'm using this because I don't want it to be very black and I'm gonna use that to define my crease a little bit more and I'm just gonna blend all of that in together. So that's the most part for the eyes. Now I'm just gonna dust off the excess powder I had underneath my eyes. And then I'm just showing you guys, I always wipe my brushes, so you don't need to own like a thousand brushes, you can always wipe them to reuse them. I'm going to use that dark brown eyeshadow to define my lower lash line and I'm just going to blend it in together. So next you want to take uh, a uh, black eyeliner to line your lower and upper lash line and I'm also going to use that to define like the outer thirds of my upper lash line just to give me something a little bit more smoky. And for blush, I'm using this um, pinkish topi blush from the BH Cosmetics blush palette. And for highlight, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Kiki Bronze because I didn't want something, I didn't want it to be too glowy and this highlight is, is as natural as they come. I'm just going to apply it where I usually apply my highlight. And then I'm going to set my face with my makeup or Smashbox Primer Water and I'm going to spritz my brush again just to get more intensity of my eyeshadow and I'm using the NYX 
I mix loose pearl eyeshadow in the shade mint to highlight my inner eye area and now I'm just going to apply some mascara and I'm using the Essence Mascara as you can see my cat wanted to be in the video so badly I applied some mascara and some false lashes and I'm using the Smashbox lip gloss in the shade Pearly and I absolutely love this, this lip gloss and this is what it looks like Second lip choice, I'm going to start by lining my lips with this Boutique Lip Liner in the shade Wine and I'm going to use the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Coolest. I, I didn't like this as much as I did, but now that I'm editing a video, um, I really like the combination with, um, actually I, I like both lip choices and I cleaned up my lips with some eyeliner, and not eyeliner, concealer and I used the powder to make sure um, everything blends in nicely. And this is the final look guys, tell me which lip choice you guys prefer and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye guys.